All right, get ready, everybody. The winner of this... Make sure you pick your race and all that stuff. The winner of this earns 24 Vibu coins, guys. Okay? That's a hot, hot deal. 24 Vibu coins to the winner. <coughs> now, anyone, anyone who's new here who might not have played one of these before or doesn't know, just listen to me really fast. This map, each base, it's big game hunters, okay? So if you know what BGH looks like, then you know. If you don't know what it looks like, it's basically, if you think about, think about a clock, or th think about like a rather diagonal lines and plus lines. So everyone spawns in like top left, top middle, top right, middle left, bottom left, bottom middle, bottom right, middle right. It's like, if you if you have like diagonals and plus a plus sign, someone spawns in every location. So it's it's very easy to tell where people spawn. Okay. Uh, I think it actually shows you everyone's spawn location as well in the beginning of the game. It's pretty obvious. Now, it's basically every base along the wall. Now, aside from that, huge deal, huge thing to know if you don't know this about this map. So you're not, it's not jarring when you get into it. Every single base on this map has infinity money. Okay? Every base has infinity money. And every single mineral patch and gas geyser is rich. So you mine really quickly. Rich gas, rich minerals, everything, every base has infinity money. You will never, ever mine it out. Okay? You literally can't mine the map out. It's, it's like infinity money. It would take forever. Okay, so now... Also, you each base has six gases. Each main base has six gas and like 12 mineral patches. So you have a lot of resources. So don't feel like you have to expand if you're worried about dying. Okay? Just so you know, that's how it is. Other than that, all the units are like standard ladder units. <coughs> and now, if you wouldn't mind, mute the stream. I'm going to grab myself a quick water. And good luck. Or mute or pause the stream. And good luck, guys. I'm going to start the game in about 10 seconds, okay? Mentally prepare yourselves. All right, good luck, guys. I'm starting right now. And again, winner gets 24 Vibu coins. 24 Vibu coins to the winner. Hi, right, boys. We got. Our FFA. Good to go. It started. It has begun. I need that uh, Shang Tsung quote from Mortal Kombat. The way he says it. It has begun. It has begun. <laughs> I sound like a drunk Shang Tsung. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Before we do introductions, I just want to count the Protosses. Because the last two times we've done this, we've had like five Protosses, I feel like. Like each time. So we got Protoss, Protoss, Terran, Protoss, Zerg, Protoss, Protoss, Terran. It's literally always like five Toss. Five Toss, one token Zerg again, and two Terrans. All right. So in top left, we got What the Fork, our pink Protoss. In top middle, we have Big Bear. Big Bear. Our blue Protoss. Actually building in the mineral line. Fucking up his mineral line already. <laughs> Big Bear. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yo, oh, the efficiency is already down a little bit. <laughs> in top right, we got D4T. Our, one of our resident Terrans. Who's double gassing like crazy right now. With one, but double gas before like a Rax here. We got middle right, Park Canyon. Uh, uh, very mineral hungry, hungry Protoss. I like it. I like it. Bottom right, our token Zerg player, doing a nice pool, uh, with some macro hatches. I love it. I love it. It's good shit. We got Bree Grow. It's we'll call him Brian because it's Brian. Uh, at least I hope it's Brian. I know this is Brian G, but it might be Briang. Brian G. Brian is not spelled like Brian though, so it's, it's I'm gonna say Brian. I'll say Bree. I'll say Bree. Because his name's Bree. Okay? What if it is Bree? 
Okay, I don't know. Double gate core. Okay, pretty standard shit. We got another Prodos upgrade. Upgrade. For a double dose of pimping. Uh, this motherfucker, good shit. You got a triple gateway. And we got Tofu Hunden. Taking that fast expand with some fast tech. All right, we got one action, well, a little bit of action going on right now. We got Big Bear's Pylon taking an absolute beating from the Zealot of Fork. Big Bear, not giving a shit though. Doesn't want to protect it. He's like, I got more in the mineral line. It's totally fine. <laughs> he actually has a lot of pylons. He'll be fine. As long as this Zealot doesn't start killing workers, so he's all good. Ooh, we got a cannon. He literally, uh, what the fork, actually containing himself with cannons. Uh, bold move. We'll see how it pays off. The zealot on zealot violence with a probe, uh, backing him up. Rubbing, the, the probe rubbing Big Bear's zealot shoulders, being like, you got it, champ. Get him, Rock. Get him. D4T getting himself turtled up with some turrets. Teching into a planetary as well at the front door. All right, boys, and even getting high sec auto tracking right away. First upgrade, those static D and ranged increased defenses. Meanwhile, we got more static D coming out of Park Canyon. We have a very static D heavy game this game. Half the game is playing static D based. We got tanks and a bunker coming down out of Tofu Hunden. Only the bottom Protosses, bottom left, both Bree and uh, upgrade, going for the stalker heavy composition here to start it off. And adding on a Stargate later on. Zerg, though. Look at Zerg, man. Nemesis with the four hatch, four queen, or three queen. Oh, okay, there is four queens. Two of them are on the main. We got four queen, four hatch. Oh, boy. Let's look at some supplies. Uh, how do you look at supply? There you go. Right now, who's leading supply? We got Zerg in the lead. Okay, who? Oh, wow. Cool. Pretty, pretty sick. Who's in the, Who's last? <laughs> a couple of players tied at 30. Okay, no, actually, only one player at 34. The, the Brown Terran. Oh, Oracle comes in from upgrade and goes down. Queen's just not having any of that. Tofu Hunden actually in last place in terms of supply. But look at him with these special tactics. Putting command centers on the fucking high ground cliff. What a genius. Saving build room in his base by putting le legit command centers on the high ground. <laughs> That is unusable, other than I guess landing command centers on it. Good shit, Tofu Hunden. What a what a what a MacGyver Terran using what he's got. Okay, we got a shitload of Stargates out of what the fork. With a quite a juicy supply block going on right now. I don't know uh if some of these Stargates not really being utilized yet. No pylons going down as of yet. We got some DTs from upgrade in Bree's base. Bree looking like might make a fast exit, but with a clutch oracle coming in, can we get it? Can we see a juicy revelation? I don't know. Let's let's watch. This is this is intense. Will a revelation be enough, or is Bree gonna die? DT spread out a bit too much for revelation. Oh my God! Probes going down like crazy. DT's revealed on the middle line, but there's still one DT unrevealed behind the army. That's the that's the problem right there, boys. This, a little bit of a blunder with the revelation. Gotta wait another... Oh, Rev we're just kidding. Revelation's on 25 energy now. You could do it again. That shit got buffed. Or it got like altered. It's not really buffed or nerfed. They made it last less, but it also costs less. Kind of a buff in this kind of a situation, honestly, where you have to tag multiple DTs. But Bree actually not tagging yet. Losing more probes. Oh my god, actually only has 30 minerals. If these last probes die, Bree is dead. One, one probe left. Oh my god, Bree is now all in. Bree can literally not build... Oh, wait. There is more probes in the Nexus. I'm just joking. This DT really needs to be revealed, though. If these probes die, then it is legit and all in for Bree. Because there is no money after that. Okay, Bree actually... I probably doesn't realize that Revelation was buffed and is not actually... Ooh. Bree! No! You could have revel revealed twice! No! Revelation was buffed! Bree goes down. Bree probably pretty fucking pissed. Getting DT cheesed out of the game from upgrade. 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 Not showing any mercy. Trying to take out multiple players at the same time. Going for the Zerg and the Protoss. Only eliminates one though. 
now we got a lot of voids in top middle. Actually not giving a shit. Looking like Big Bear is actually going to die. This is not enough defense, and all these gates and stargates are underpowered. Big Bear, now getting ready to lose his main nexus. Oh my god, Big Bear! Make yourself big, Big Bear! Roar at him! Intimidate him! No, Big Bear! Big Bear actually making the Great Migration down to the middle of the map, where he's also getting nuked from D4T. Oh my god! Will every probe die? Oh my god, he's walking into it! Half the probes go down! <laughs> Poor Big Bear! If he's not running away from laser beams in his main, he's running into nukes that is fucking natural. <laughs> Big Bear, feeling like he's had enough of being the punching bag of this game, and he calls it quits with saying GG. <laughs> Poor Big Bear. Both top middle and bottom middle getting knocked out early. Another nuke going down. D4T. The man making this game really interesting right now. Could a nuke hit all these voids? What the fork actually running away. Nuke's gonna hit nothing. Knocks out one pilot and the probe. Okay. Uh, Void Ray is just kind of cleaning up a dead base <clears throat> at this point. Meanwhile, we got Park Canyon with a shitload of Stargates himself. Making a nice, juicy Sky Toss fleet. Almost maxed out. Looking pretty scary. We got... <clears throat> our Zerg player, Nemesis, with a bunch of Viper Hydra. Uh, upgrades looking decent. 1-1, one, one, currently almost 2-2. Two, two. Going to be a bit pr tough, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Every Zerg out there knows how hard it is to beat Skytoss with just Hydras uh, nowadays. It's, uh, it's pretty rough. So good luck to, to Nemesis, but at least you have infinite money. So that's a positive. Oh my god, another nuke. D14 looking for that juicy nuke. It has not been killed yet. It's this ghost right here. Oh my god, it's going to go down just before the nuke goes off. But actually, it doesn't even matter because a lot of those voids actually get destroyed in that fight. So, nicely done by D4T. A little bit of a trade there. Again, resources don't really matter that much for what you lose because this map is legit infinity money. Like, let's see this. Look at look at D4T's mineral line. He's got mules. He's got a fully saturated mineral line. Oversaturated even, which is super mining. Yet his mineral patches still have like a billion minerals on them. So, I think he'll be okay. Uh, this la this will last till next Friday, <clears throat> so the game could you know probably be over by then. Meanwhile, the the voids now of what the fork going into Tofu Hunted's main, knocking out the command center before the Thors arrive. And the Thors actually shoo away the voids for now, but Tofu Hunted actually taking another command center off of his assembly line and going, you know what? When one dies, they'll bring another one in. <coughs> <coughs> Tofu. Making use of those command centers. Nicely done, man. Meanwhile, we have some Zerg moving out <coughs> into some Protoss territory. Will there be an engagement? This is Mr. Sky Toss himself. The Turtle Toss. I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared for uh, Nemesis if this fight ensues. And he's really... He, I can already see it in Park Canyon's eyes. He's getting fucking pissed. The blood rage is... It's coming out. And now, choosing to take the fight. I'm, wa I'm waiting for a bloodbath of Hydras here. And it's starting. Now Nemesis feeling like he might have overstepped. All the Hydras die, and now every Hydra being killed into his own base, now taking him all the way back in. But another army of Corruptor. Meanwhile, a nuke up here on a mineral line. Corruptor's killing Skytoss. Nuke killing probes. Thor's killing interceptors. Corruptor's coming out of nowhere. But actually, not, not enough upgrades. These Corruptors are 0-0. Zero, zero. Meanwhile, the Sky Toss over here for Park Canyon is already level 3 fucking weapons. Holy shit, that is scary. Dude, I am actually really scared for the Zerg right now. He might be dead. In production for Zerg right now, we have 28 Corruptors, but they have no Carapace. They're going to melt like a hot knife through butter. They're going to die so fucking fast. And Zerg also right now has no bank left over. So if this... If this army does not win the fight here this is it this is all zerg has so will he t he's killing void after void after void starting to try to focus fire carriers will there be enough corruptor they're going down super fast this no armor is horrible for zerg and yeah it's not going to be enough man zerg actually out of money and just having like little traces of an army spawn little bit by bit zerg actually invested into 3-3 ground upgrades for the hydra but 
Hydra not as good as Corruptor against max maxed out air. But a little bit of an oversight by not getting any air upgrades. <coughs> Will Nemesis die? I don't know. No one's really pressuring uh, Park Canyon. He's actually getting nuked, by the way. Oh, actually, here we go. If Park Canyon decides to turn around because his natural is being killed by the Terran, that is the only chance for our Zerg player Nemesis. You could hold out. You could rebuild. <coughs> Park Canyon actually deciding to... Oh, 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 oh. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! Okay, he's like, GG! Just fucking kidding! <laughs> I'm still in it, bitches! Nemesis on the verge of death, about to throw in the towel. It's like that. It's like one of those scenes in a movie where like the bomb's gonna go off in one second and then somebody defuses it where it's like, oh, oh ho, shit! We're back! A bunch of nukes going off on Parkanian's army, but Parkanian with the detection, still seeing every nuke trying to go off. Knocking out every ghost in sight. No nukes going down. Meanwhile, we have another Sky Toss army killing the hell out of Tofu Hunden. Poor Tofu Hunden having to deal with Sky Toss on the top and then Sky Toss on the bottom. Are both our Terrans getting pushed hard by the Protoss? Uh, I think D4. Oh, D4T has a nuke going off somewhere. Oh, I died. I thought I heard it. D4T actually throwing it in, throwing in the towel. Sky Toss running over this Terran, and now our last Terran remaining. Actually pushing one of the Protosses while another Protoss pushes him. Poor Tofu Honda can't catch a break. He's doing so much work in What the Fork's base. What the Fork was the first guy to harass Tofu Honda with Sky Toss. But in the end, Sky Toss wins anyways because another Sky Toss player is killing Tofu Honda at the same time. <laughs> what the Fork, or uh, sorry, Tofu Honda actually deciding to now also make a great migration to a new base, a new home. Oh my god, and there's a DT. And there is no scan for Tofu Hunden. How much does that suck? <laughs> Thor Tofu Hunden. One Thor is going to die after Thor after Thor. <clears throat> and now, upgrade, uh, upgrade, interrupting Tofu Hunden's killing spree on top of what the fork. Tofu Honda now meeting his demise in the middle of the map. All of his throws go down but to upgrades. Sky Toss. Tofu Honda calling it quits. Also dead. All we have left, guys, is three Protosses and one Zerg. The Zerg. Everyone thought he was dead. But he's recovering. He's rebuilding. He is getting Spire upgrades. I'm not going to lie, guys. If enough time goes by, there is a chance that Nemesis might actually win this game. Because cor upgraded Corruptors destroy pure air pretty hard. The only way Protoss really deals with this if it begins to like 200 army supply with good upgrades is if Protoss also has Archons and High Templar. <coughs> and right now no Protosses have I guess uh, up Upgrade has the ability to go into Archons because he does have Archon tech. He has Dark Templars. But no Protosses actually have the, uh, the Twilight Council yet so We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see. We shall see. If any one of them realized that he's alive, though, he could die right now. So we'll see. But right now, big battle going on in the middle. Sky Toss on Sky Toss Violence. Upgrade versus Per Canyon. We got maxed out carriers with a token Tempest versus a nice kind of mix of Void Ray carrier Tempest. It's like a hybrid of all three. I actually, I'm not going to lie, I kind of give the benefit to Per Canyon because carriers are just insanely good. Once you max them out, I, I would totally take Park Canyon's army as, the, as to be favored here. And now we have a pure Tempest army out of What the Fork. If these armies all clash one by one by one, I really give the advantage to Park Canyon. But you never know. One of them might fight the other one, and the third guy might capitalize at the end. So we'll have to see. Another battle going to ensue right now. Park Canyon engaging upgrade. But all the Interceptors fighting Interceptors right now. <clears throat> Whoever focus fires first. Oh, here we go. Park Canyon actually deciding to focus fire first. Upgrade. Losing all of his air units one by one by one super fast. I got to give the advantage to Park Canyon, man. Upgrade on the, on the retreat. Every carrier popping in like half a second. As soon as it's focused. Sorry, I went a little spazzy with the mouse there. And yeah, man, dude. Upgrade. Looking like he's about to die. Oh, my God. But what the fork actually taking a, taking a battle... In the back, Parkanid actually 
jumping on top of the Tempest now. But again, dude, carriers are pretty fucking good. Tempest dropping left and right. Park Canyon deciding, you know what? I'll be back, upgrade. Upgrade. I'll be back. There needs to be a dead pink Protoss. Oh, oh, oh. Park Canyon just basically asserting dominance with his shield batteries in the middle of the map. Every Sky Toss kind of, well, I mean, upgrade just got destroyed. But Park Canyon respecting the fact that there are multiple people in this game. Not wanting to risk the game here and try to kill one or the other. Play, going back into a defensive posture, trying to get his upgrades still going. Remaxing any unit that died and getting ready to probably expand while also setting up a bunch of batteries and all that. Another great migration of probes coming out in the middle of the map. Not sure what's going on with this. Maybe a misclick out of this base. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. He's killing a pylon. <laughs> all of his probes die. Okay. Uh, upgrade. Getting high as fuck over there. <laughs> not really know what he's doing. Uh, Alright, so we got some Tempest on Carrier Violence. But once again, dude, I gotta give the advantage to Carrier. Just watch how fast they rip apart Tempest. Dead, 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 dead. It's insane. Carrier are just too good, dude. That Tempest count that was like 12 a second ago is now down to 3. Meanwhile, the Carrier count is like a big fat cock that just won't go away. <laughs> it's coming in. Oh, God, protect yourself with the fork. One carrier can't beat like 12 or 15 or even even. I think what the fork is about to be eliminated. Oh my god. Park Canyon pushing in strong. What the fork calling it quits. Uh, tapping out. Meanwhile, boys, we got a Zerg player who is still upgrading. He's going on level 2 carapace. Level 3 weapons on his spire. He currently has a maxed out army. He's developing a bank. And he currently has a total of 30 Corruptors with some Sky Toss and some Infestors. Holy shit. I am not going to lie. I think the Zerg is going to win this game. That Zerg army is fucking scary. Not only to mention the Zerg army is scary against what you see here and also what you see here. But if the Protoss players don't realize Zerg is alive and they take a fight before Zerg engages. Oh, hey, never mind. Zerg actually getting ballsy and going, you know what? Time for me to attack. Corruptors engaging Carrier. Now here's a real fight. Corruptors actually knocking out Carriers ridiculously fast. And the Corruptors are going nowhere because now they're upgraded. These Corruptors not giving a shit. Every Carrier starting to fall. Actually, Nemesis respecting his boundaries. Overstepping into maybe a too much Static D. Deciding, you know what? I'm going to regroup, fall back for a second. And uh, get myself situated again. But here's, here's actually something that's super, super huge. Although Nemesis has a scary army of Corruptor, he actually has no level 3 Carapace, boys. I'm going to move my head right there. That is a very important upgrade. It's super big. So if he forgets to do that all game, that could be a misstep that honestly might cost him. <clears throat> it, it, it dramatically changes how good Corruptors are against Carrier. It's fucking insane. Because a Carrier hits 16 times, and armor applies 16 times. So... One armor on a Corruptor versus a Carrier is literally worth 16. So it's fucking nuts. Uh, okay, another battle. Corruptors fighting Carriers once again. Focus Fire is good so far. Carriers starting to drop at a pretty decent pace, but so are these Corruptor. There's actually not enough of them. This is like an equal battle of Corruptor to Carrier. Like 15 Corruptor versus 15 Carrier. Not the best for Corruptor, but at least Zerg is actually resetting a lot of the Carrier count. Actually getting caught on uh, some of the interceptors right there. Not the greatest. <clears throat> Ooh, Park Canyon. Getting kind of pissed off again. Deciding, you know what? I didn't kill you the first time. But by golly, I'm going to kill you this time. 74 supply for our Zerg player, Nemesis. Maybe overstep. But you know what? He didn't. Guys, he might have pushed a little too early. He uh, prematurely evacuated his base. And it might have cost him. Now all he's got is some wet pants. He might be dead. Maybe throw out another GG, make his opponent leave. <laughs> oh, look. Actually, this might be part two. Currently, Park Canyon killing the Zerg, but Park Canyon getting attacked in the, in the back. Meanwhile, will the attack from Upgrade cause Park Canyon to turn around? And no, dude. Upgrade deciding to, you know what? Hold the middle of the map. 
so that Park Cannon's actually now going to have the, the the time to just straight up kill the Zerg. Our token Zerg player has been eliminated. We now have a 1v1. Premature evacuation. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it down. Thank you. We now have a 1v1. 147 supply Park Canyon versus a maxed out upgrade. Also, up upgrade has a shitload of bank. The only thing, though, is that look at this. Army wise, once again, we have 16 carriers for Park Canyon, and we only have five for upgrade. I still give the edge. Even though there's a lot more supply. Oh, you know what? The, the, the micro has to be real here for Park Canyon. Engaging with a very low supply count. Okay, pulling back. That's, I, would, I agree with this. That's a good idea. That was like 70 supply less to start that fight off with. Maybe a little bit of a scary fight. But if, if the carrier count gets maxed out again, I do heavily give the advantage to Park Canyon. I really don't think that Tempest and Voids are the, the go-to unit here. It, it's just too much DPS out of the carrier. It's insane. <clears throat> but... Will 50 shield batteries be able to make the difference? Maybe throw some cannons in here for good measure, kill some interceptors? Maybe. That could actually change things. Currently, Park Canyon tried, trying to rebuild. Upgrade does have a lot of money compared to Park Canyon. He's got four mining bases to Park Canyon's one mining base, almost a natural on the way. Actually, Upgrade not mining from his naturals. He's only mining from, or he's actually not mining from this base either. He's only mining from this base. So never mind. A lot of open bases not actually being used. It's just a lot of map control, essentially. But still, it has a pretty good bank, though, regardless. But, yo, upgrade. Still at a maxed army. Upgrade, or in Park Canyon. Looking kind of sad right now. He's only got nine carriers. If the fight happens right now, I think Park Canyon's going to die. And Park Canyon actually starting to bleed carriers out once again. Engaging into some Tempest a little prematurely. Currently back up to 11 carriers with more popping out. And he's just barely scraping the bottom of the barrel here with his economy, trying to make as many carriers as possible, but he has no money. Like, he has a lot of money to mine. He just doesn't have any in the bank because he just took a fight against the Zerg and also the Pink Protoss. So maybe a little too aggressive. We'll have to see if it bites him in the ass. I really think if Parkani can somehow hold on just long enough to get to maxed out carriers and not lose carriers like this, ooh, he could win. Because I do favor the army of Pure Carrier over this hybrid army. But. I don't know, man. Upgrade. Pushing. Taking his time. Extending his shield battery extension here. This could be the saving grace for Park Canyon. Will up Upgrade be too safe? We'll see, dude. Three more carriers. Getting, well, one carrier about to pop out now. Two more on the way. Back up to 15 carriers. Dude, it's starting to look better and better. All we need to see is some good micro focus fire. And there's a chance. 16 carrier. And the count keeps climbing. Another carrier about to pop. Oh my god. Parkana getting antsy as fuck. Really wanting to go. You can see it. He keeps moving back and forth. Almost getting killed by a Tempest repeatedly. Back up to 160 supply. I don't know, man. This is starting to get real. This army could win. This is like on the verge of possible. And if it gets anything bigger than this, I would say I'm pretty sure carriers are going to win here. That's my opinion. Okay, dude. We got another carry popping out. 18 carriers. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I think this is the tipping point. Any carrier on top of this is definitely going to put a massive advantage for Park Canyon, But I already think this is possibly like a little bit in favor of Park Canyon now. So we're going to see the battle. It's about to happen. Stargate's being underpowered. Park Canyon's starting to get ready to get aggressive here. Starting to push. Getting pissed. About to push into all those batteries. Will the focus fire be real? Void Ray goes down. Carrier going down. Carrier going down. Carrier going down. Void Ray, Void Ray, Void Ray. Carrier, Void Ray, Carrier. Like, you see the fucking DPS? It doesn't matter if you're over batteries. Carriers are fucking nuts. Tempest dropping left and right. The carrier count is getting kind of low, though. Oh my god, who's going to win here? This is actually really close. These shield batteries are legit actually doing a lot of work here. It's like making... Once the carry count got kind of low, it, these batteries are, are buying so much time for these Tempests to kill shit. Kind of a reset on both sides. And you know what? Dude, that, that the, this shield battery move might have been the genius move that Upgrade wanted with his hybrid army. 
Because Upgrade has no money. Park Canyon has no money. But Upgrade has a shitload of units in production. So he's remaxing a lot faster. And Park Canyon but looks like he's about to die. Oh my god. Shield batteries being made again and again. And the man with the shield battery plan upgrade with a double dose of shield battery pimping. Taking, the, taking home the fucking victory. God damn. I honestly was feeling it for Park Canyon a little bit towards the end there again, but shield battery all the way. Shield battery pretty good. <laughs> Yo, much love to for playing, guys. Congrats to Upgrade for the win, and uh, I'll give you I'll give you a double dose of your Vibo coin. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm oh, just kidding. It's a single dose. I'm, I'm not made of money, okay? But yo, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out.